Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be taking a look at Todoist versus Notion. We will be comparing these tools side by side, taking a look at the pricing, the features, and the pros and cons of both of these tools to figure out which of these tools is going to be best for you. The first thing that we need to cover when it comes to both of these tools, Todoist and Notion, is the pricing. Now, both of these tools have free plans right here. We can see free plan on Notion. This is free forever. And then on Todoist, this is going to be free forever as well. So most people will be able to get away with just the free plan. You will basically never have to pay. But we do have some more advanced versions with Todoist Pro coming in at $4 per month if you pay for the year and business coming in at $6 per month when you pay for the year. Notion is more expensive with the cheapest plan coming in at $10 per month. And then we go up to $15 per month right here. So if you do need to upgrade, if you do need some of these more advanced features, then it's definitely a plus for Todoist as it is a lot cheaper. With that being said though, with Notion, you can do a lot more. We will get into that later in the video, but one of the annoying things about Todoist is you actually don't get the calendar view. This is only available with the pro plan. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to a task manager like this, having a calendar view is very, very important. And the fact that you don't get this with the free version of Todoist, if you are somebody who does want a free tool, then immediately your mind should start going towards Notion. However, there are definitely some pros and cons of each, and let's get into that right now. So I am now on the free version of both of these tools. I'm not going to be going into any of the paid features. I'm going to keep this comparison nice and free. And the pro and the con of Notion is the exact same thing. So the thing with Notion is it's harder to use. It's got a steeper learning curve, but the reason for that is because you can do so much on Notion. With Notion, you can use this as a project manager. You can use this as a to-do list. You can use this to track different tasks. Whereas Todoist is, it's literally just a task manager. That's all it is. And that's specifically what it has been built around. But if I just go into Notion templates, you can see all of these different things that we can create with Notion. We can create design portfolios. We can create investor updates. We can create pitch decks. We can create sales assets. We can create CRMs. There are so many different things that go on inside of Notion. And this is what I mean in it's a pro and it's a con at the same time. It really depends on what you are using the tool for. So with Todoist, we can basically go in and create a project. They do have some templates right here. Like they, they claim that you can do all of these different things. Like you can have a goal tracker, you can have a student project, you can have a hiring pipeline. In my opinion, if you're trying to do any of these things other than simply just track tasks, don't use Todoist for this. Like, let me show you the difference. This is a sales pipeline inside of Todoist right here. It's very simple and it's very basic. Whereas if we go over to Notion and I go to templates right here, let's search for a sales uh, pipeline. We can go for a CRM, basically the same thing. Look at the difference. It's just so much more laid out. It's easier on the eyes and it's overall just so much better. Like you can see how simple Todoist is. But if you just want to track tasks and you want to do this as simply as possible, that's where Todoist is going to shine. So what we could do is create a project. And this is where we can create kind of like different projects for different things. So I might create in my projects, I might create a to-do list and then I might create one for YouTube content. So I could go into my projects right here and just have this as like a to-do list. Then we can set the color that we want to set this to. So we'll say like purple. We can have this as a list or a board. I'll show you the difference between these, but we can basically go in and then just like this, we can very easily start tracking some tasks. So to-do list, I could say, uh, go to the grocery store, uh, record YouTube video and start adding tasks down here. What we can also do. So if I say like edit YouTube video, down here, we can add a description of the task. We can also go to the due date and set when this is due. So I could come in here and add a due date. I could say this is due tomorrow. We can then set a priority right here. And then reminders are going to be blocked off by a paywall. So we do need to pay if we need reminders. But we can basically add that in right there. So this is due tomorrow. And this is how it's going to show up. So we now have the to-do list right here. We can also separate this into different sections. So in my to-do list, I could separate this into like today, then add a new section right here and say tomorrow, and then add a new section and say next week. And then I could basically drag these in. So this is tomorrow, go through the grocery store today, 
and then record YouTube video today, we can drag these all in. And you can see we have some very nice organization right here. So we can come in here, we can add a task, set the due date, add the priority. And it's very, very simple. We simply just create a project. So I could say this is like YouTube videos, set the color, set the view. So we'll set this one to board. And this is how board is going to look. So this is list, and then this is board. And we can create a board along the top. So we could set this up and I could say YouTube videos, this is to do. Then I could say this is recorded, edited, uploaded. And then we could add some tasks in right here. So I could say to doist versus Notion, then Notion tutorial. And then we could flick these between. So I could say like recorded, edited, we could go through and add these all in. Then if you want to flick between the different board views, we can just go up to view right here and I could switch this to board. And then I can go right here and switch this to list. And we can switch these around as much as we want. Then we can go into today. So today is going to show you all of the tasks that are due today. I actually don't have any set right now. So I'll just go in here and set this to be due today to show you how this looks. Then we can go today and see all of the tasks that we have due today. We can also go to upcoming and this is kind of like a calendar. It's not like an actual calendar. Like you wouldn't really want to use this as a calendar because if we do want to switch this to the calendar view, we do have to upgrade. But this is kind of like a makeshift calendar. It's not terrible. We can see all of the tasks that we have due on the different days. And then if we need to check them off, we just come in and check them off like that. Very simple and a very, very easy software to use. That's how we can use Todoist. Now Notion is very different because the way that Notion works is it's very open and you choose what you want to do. Todoist, it basically has set things out. You can create two different types of boards. We can go into today and see today's tasks. Whereas Notion, what we would do is add a new page. And then this is it, like this is the basic point of Notion. So I could call this to-do list if I want to create the same thing. And then the way that we access all of the tools on Notion is by hitting this command key. And then we can see all of these different tools right here. So if I wanted to create a to-do list like I did on Todoist right here, let's just go back to the list view. What I could do is go in and I guess I could title this like with a heading. So I would have to click like slash heading. And then in here, I could say this is like today. Then I could go down, click on slash. And then I could go for just a to-do list right here. So maybe we can search for to-do list. We could add that in. And then this is going to show up as a to-do list. So I could start typing things in right here. This is my to-do list. This is everything I have to do today. However, we can't just go in and we can't be adding due dates. We can't be adding priorities straight from this menu right here. If I was to build this entire thing myself, like it, you can see it's tricky to do. I just can't add the same features that I can with Todoist straight off the bat. What I would have to do instead is create like a table. So I can create a table right here. And then we have to go through and enter in these different sections. So it's, it's harder to even create a simple to-do list, which is what I mean by Notion can do a lot, but Todoist is very, very simple to use. I mean, what we can kind of do as a workaround is we could use a template. So if I just search for like a to-do list, we can see to-do list right here. So we can drop this in, we can click on get template, and then we can start adding things right here. So let's go up and call this to-do list. And then for these tasks, I actually don't want them in here anymore. So I want to go ahead and delete these. So we just right click and delete, right click and delete, right click and delete. And then we can add in a new task. So let's say this one is go to grocery store. Then I can add like record YouTube video. And now I can add an assignee. Now I actually don't want to add an assignee. I'm just doing this by myself. I don't have an entire team to manage. Like, yes, this would be handy if I did, but I don't. But if I want to delete this, it just won't let me. Like if I try to delete the property, it won't let me. If I try to change the property, it won't let me change that this is a person. So what I can do though is hide in view and that's going to kind of take it away, but it's still kind of there. Then we can add a due date. So let's say for YouTube video, this is today. We can also add new properties. So these are all of the different properties that we can add. So once again, like you can kind of see my point right here. It's fantastic. And there's so many different things that we can do. We can add so many different properties into here. Like we can add checkboxes, we can add files, we can add dates, we can add statuses. So I can basically go in and edit these statuses and say not started in progress and done. Then we can add some more right here. 
I could add like edited if this is for a YouTube video. Then we can go in and choose the color and then set this status to edited. So we can do like a to-do list, but it's just not as simple as Todoist. We can also switch the view so I can go up to board right here and we get that beautiful board view. And that's laid out right there. We can also add and we can add in like a calendar view if we have dates set for all of these. So if I set this date to the 18th, we can set that right there and we have the calendar added it. So this is a huge pro of Notion in my opinion is the fact that we do get the calendar. So if you do need a calendar view and you don't want to pay, then go with Notion. Also, if you want some of these more complex features, like anything that we can see here, CRMs, anything that you want to add in the same area as your task manager, then go with Notion. However, if you want to keep this simple, you are just going to be tracking tasks and you want to do this as easily as possible, then Todoist is definitely going to be the best application for this. So that is my comparison of Todoist versus Notion. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, Take it easy.